what you now mm. see in the January 6th tapes, let's call them, yeah. the videos, is irrefutable evidence that we were being lied to. Now, look, maybe when you see the entirety of the tape, maybe we're going to say the same thing, which which is, hey, what, what, the, what the QAnon shaman did deserved him to go to jail for four years. But I don't want anybody cherry picking for me on either Whoa. side. I want to see and the whole thing. And that's the thing. I think, you know, I one of the interesting things I, I found in, in that man's interview, forget, you guys have to forgive me. Uh, what is, I'm trying to remember exactly what his name is. Um, but the thing that he said was, you know, his biggest regret was thinking that because the Capitol Police were trying to let him into doors and, and escorting him around the building, that that meant what he was doing was okay. And I think that's one of the things that's so important for for um, the viewers to kind of understand or to take, or let me say my biggest takeaway was it was a lot of people just wandering and milling about the building and taking selfies and pictures and even walking in the, within rope lines and like staying in places where they, you know, it's, it's just, I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing the armed. I'm not. I'm not buying that flagpoles are arms, uh, which apparently is how they justified calling it an armed insurrection. Can you believe that? Um, so, what this reminds me of, and I, you know, I'm an old movie bus. Yeah. Um, the Bakersfield Massacre. Now, if okay. you're old, it's not really that old of a movie. It's it's at least not a black and white movie. So there used there was this old movie. I think it's probably 1980s with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger called The Running Man. Richard oh, Dawson. Great right? movie. Yeah. Great movie. So yeah. he's working for the government. He's flying. You know, you know, the government's trying to put down an insurrection, interestingly enough. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the movie, you realize that he was that he was ordered to fire on the masses. He doesn't do it. They send him to jail and they change the video that the public consumes to show that he fired on the masses because someone else did the Bakersfield massacre. Right. That's what the, that wow. when I look at the January 6th tape, we're being manipulated. And that's the issue for me.